Let's do a shorts sew along. This is a hack of the summer romper from Violet Field Threads where I'm just making the shorts and I add an inch onto the top to create a waistband. Okay, so here's the great part about this project, y'all. You don't need more than a yard of fabric for most of the sizes. So if you're shopping the remnants at Joanne or wherever you are, a yard will be perfect. All right, step one, cut the pieces out. Step two, we're gonna sew the swoops on all four pieces like I'm doing here. Once you do that, trim the seams and press them out. Now, we're gonna attach the crotch together on both pieces. You've got lining and you've got main piece for this project. Cut those down to half of their seam allowance and then press them out. Now, for this one, there's many options. I'm gonna be putting a little piece of trim sandwiched between my front and back pieces. You could also just finish them without that or you could add the trim later. So lay the trim out. I like to be a little cheaty on this and instead of doing it at a half inch, I'll lay it out at a quarter of an inch. I'm not sure why I do that, honestly. Then you just baste it on and sew around all of the swoops again. This is all explained in the pattern, by the way. So this is a great pattern and the romper is honestly adorable, but I didn't have enough of this for roller skate fabric to make the romper. So that's why we went with shorts. And truly my daughter wears these shorts, this type of short every single day because they're just so stinking cute. Okay, so you're gonna fold the two edges in and cross it over and then you just sew that little spot and top stitch the whole thing around. Now it's time to finish the top. You can do this with a serger or this project can be done completely serger free. You can just fold that top down a quarter and then one inch. Sew the little tube so you can close it up and you're going to thread your elastic through zigzag over those ends, stretch it out. And here's a little trick guys, stitch in the ditch on those two side seams. That way your elastic won't roll. And then you have cute roller skate shorts. Like and follow for more sewing tips.